Okay, so today I will be showing you how to set up the Acro B75 Express LS Tiny Whoop. So we will be covering how to bind it to your Express LS radio. We will be setting up the switches in beta flight. And finally, we will be connecting it to your analog goggles. So if you're interested in my reviews of the Acro B75, the link is going to be right here. This video is just going to be a dedicated setup guide. All right, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so let's start by binding the quad to your radio. So for Express OS binding, the firmware on both devices need to match. So the Acro B75 already has Express OS firmware version 3.4 built in. So your radio should have Express OS firmware version 3.x as well. So basically 3.x binds with 3.x, 2.x binds with 2.x. So if your radio is in 2.x, you need to upgrade it to Express OS 3.x. So if you're unsure about the firmware version on your radio or you need it to flash the Express OS version on your radio, check the detail guide link just down below. So next, with the firmware issue out of the way, let's talk about how to bind the Acro B75. It basically has a serial-based EOLS receiver built in, so there is going to be two binding methods. The first is going to be the plug and unplug three times method, generally we refer, we refer to as the cheat method, and the second is the more complicated but recommended binding phrase method. Let me just give you a quick demo of the plug and unplug method so you can probably just get started real quick. So you're basically just going to be plugging and unplugging your quad three times very fast, so it's going to be like let me just make sure I don't plug it upside down. So one, two, three, and the fourth, you're basically going to plug it in. But since I already have my binding phrase set up, this I don't think is going to work. So after you plug it in, you can basically hit the bind button right here. And by theory, they should just bind together. All right, so your quad right now should have been bounded and it's ready to fly. But if you're interested in the rest of the setup, stick around and I will walk you through it. Next, let's talk about the binding phrase method. How this method works is you are going to set up a code like 1234 on both your radio and the receiver. As long as the code matches on both devices, the device will basically automatically bind together when they are powered on. So to set up the binding phrase, we will need to use a PC or you can use your cell phone, but PC is going to be easier. All right, let's switch our view to the PC so it's easy, so we can basically demo show to show you how it works. Okay, so next we're basically going to come into our PC and what we're going to do is, since this has a serial based EOLRS receiver that is already bounded into the flight controller, what you can do is we can power up the receiver by just plugging in a USB C a USB cable. So okay, this is a little bit harder. So basically, what we are going to be doing here is we are basically going to be waiting about thirty seconds for the receiver to enter Wi-Fi mode. So once the receiver enters Wi-Fi mode, we will be able to set up the binding phrase in the web page. So this is the easiest method. So you can also use your cell phone to do it. It should be a similar process. All right, so we're just basically going to be waiting the 30 seconds. And once it's done, we will switch our view to the computer. Okay, so the time has been set and let's go to our computer. And on a computer, you're basically going to go to your Wi-Fi icon and you're going to be clicking the Express LRS RX. So if this is the first time you're connecting, you will have to enter a password, basically called Express LRS, all lowercase. And let's just basically connect it. So what we're doing here is we're basically waiting for the another web page, a separate web page that should be popping out. That's going to be your setup page. So sometimes it, it might take a while for the Express LRS to enter. So you can see that right now it has been popping out. Let me see. Let me close all these unneeded things. All right. So what we're going to do is basically this is going to be where you sign up your binding phrase. So very simple. I have set up my binding phrase on my radio as 654321. So you're going to have to set up the exact same one on your quad so you can set up whatever you like as long as both matches okay so basically after we have this we're basically going to hit save okay so we're basically going to be power cycling the quad you're going to unplug it just for it to rest for a while and then we replug it in so we repower up the receiver and th at the same time we're going to bring out our radio Okay, let me move some stuff around and you're going to power your radio on. So when the binding phrase has been set up, they should automatically be binding together. 
So let me see. Okay, you can see that the receiver has gone solid. This is an indication that it has been bounded. The next step, we will be going to the beta flight configurator. So at the beta flight configurator, you're basically going to be connecting the Acro B, and then most of the stuff is going to be set up for you. So there's not a lot you have to do. All we have to do right now is to make sure our stick inputs, whatever, is correct. So if since we have bound it, if you move your sticks, you can see that you are getting your throttles, you're getting your yaw, you're getting your pitch, and you're getting your roll. So this is an indication that it has been mounted, so very obvious, simple. So let's go to the next step, let's just go to the modes tab. So the modes tab, I just wanted to make sure my aux switches are set up correctly. So the arm, so the arm switches, basically, if you have a standard radio that you just came out from the manufacturer, the one on the left, first one should always be aux one, and this one should always be aux two. So angle, horizon, okay, and that. All right, so aux three, my aux three, I remember I set up as this one, so it should activate the beeper. So what we have to do is, because right now the default position is already activating the beeper, and I don't want it to do that, so we're gonna move into the top, and you can see that right now it's going to be activating the beeper on and off okay so we have to hit save first in order for it to take effect so on off okay so there should be another crash flip switch so the crash flip switch why is there setting it up to oh i see so right now it is both using that one all right so in this case i'm going to just set up this to my aux 4 this is going to be aux 4 if i remember correctly so the easiest way to do it is to set it up as auto and then flip the switch you wanted to use and it's going to just set up your switches like that all right so that's basically for the modes tab and the next step let's go to the video transmitter tab so at the video transmitter tab this is basically how you where you're going to set up your channel so Personally, I like to use race band. I like to go with one. You do have to set up your channel, otherwise it may not work. So the power currently is adjusted to 25 milliwatts. You can adjust it to max if you want, but since this quad has a dynamic, uh, it has dynamic, dynamic VTX power adjustment, so I would probably put it on max later on, but for the current time being, I'm just gonna put it on 25 milliwatts just so it does not uh, overheat. All right, so once we're done, we're hit save, and basically, that's it. Okay, so the next step, we're basically just going to be coming back to our bench. We're going to test out the VTX by bringing out a little FPV monitor. This is basically same as going to be same as your FPV goggles. So what we're going to have to do, because when you're plugging the USB -C USB cable, it's not going to be able to have enough power to power on the VTX. So we will have to plug in a battery. And then let's power this on. So we already set the channel to R1. So this is already on R1 as well. So you can see that we are getting footage. So this is a complete setup. The next step, we're basically going to be also testing just to make sure the motor actually spins. Welcome to Edge TX. So let's do it. Let me put it like this way so you can see when I flip the switch. Okay. Huh, it's not, doesn't seem that it is connecting. All right, now it's connected, okay took a while so make sure our throttle is all the way down and then you flip the arm switch it should spin okay so this is a good thing that basically we have been completed this setup all right so basically this wraps us up this setup video and if you enjoy my content and wanted to support my channel you can buy me a coffee or use the affiliated links down below to make a purchase and i will basically earn a small commission at no extra cost to you or if you're just not planning to spend any money that is okay that is no problem at all i would just greatly appreciate if you can kindly subscribe and leave a comment and this would be more than enough to keep me going all right that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.